More on the terror attacks in France and the global movement against silencing satire and freedom of expression. I'm joined here in our Washington, D.C. studio by Kevin Callagher. He's an editorial cartoonist for The Economist magazine of London and The Baltimore Sun. Thank you so much for being here. Good to see you. We're happy to have you. So I'm sure this attack is very personal for you and that you can relate to what's happened probably. Can you give us a sense of some of the dangers that cartoonists face? Well, cartoonists around the world um, actually are in very delicate situations because we have this very specific tool, which is cartoons, which involve both ridicule, caricature, and images. And people respond viscerally to those. And we find that cartoonists in, in many parts of the world have, are under threat. They've been jailed, some tortured, and others murdered. And even here in the United States, it may surprise people that cartoonists have gotten death threats as well. Do you believe these cartoonists crossed the line? Were these cartoons offensive, in your opinion, as a satirist? Well, I think that's a really interesting question, because the question is, where is that line? Because every person, the line is in a different place. And for me, I would say, well, you know, I may not have drawn these cartoons myself, um, and I may not even like these cartoons, but I think the cartoons have the right, the opportunity to have these published, and they certainly should not have their lives put at risk for doing so. Obviously, they should not have had their lives put at risk, but given the climate right now and, and the, the political sensitivity to some of these cartoons, would you have pinned these? Well, I think the, um, this is going to be the interesting conversation that's going to carry on for, um, I hope, a very long time is about what does freedom of expression, freedom of speech mean, and how much responsibility there is involved. I know that every time I put pen to paper, I'm always having to think about the audience that I'm addressing and what their sensibilities are. But it, in the same way that there's all different types of comics with all different kinds of humor, all different kinds of music as well, is that everyone's got different tastes, and our, this whole discussion is very subjective. So I would rather have the discussion center on the, the rights of the individual rather than having a government or a religion tell me what to draw. Okay. What do you think of the plans for Charlie Hebdo to print a special survivor edition? Will this uh, ignite people? I'm not sure it will ignite people. I think that it will be a big rallying cry. Now, I know that there's a, a real concern about whip, whiplash in this and, and uh, the growth of Islamophobia, and I'm very worried about it. But I also think that I've been heartened by the rallying around that people are showing toward the notion of freedom of speech. And, and I think that um, this, this will be a great example. You talk about rallying around from where you sit. Will this, will this embolden people, or would this push them back and scare them in your industry? You know, um, in the past decade, since the first uh, Prophet Muhammad cartoons appeared in Denmark, that was a giant shot across the bow for, for people like myself, partly because you know, cartoons are now global. Every time I do a cartoon for the Baltimore Sun, you might as well see it all around the world because of the Internet. And so one does have to be careful or aware that your audience is large and the type of things you do. But I, don't, I think it also emboldens people to say, you know what, we've got to st stand up for what we believe in. There are more rallies over the next few days planned, even some in the United States. Does this inspire you? And, and would you are you uh, tempted or are you eager to do your own cartoon? Well, I have done cartoon on this issue. Um, I tell you what, there's no time that I ever felt more proud to be a political cartoonist, to do what I do, um, using satire and, and images to try to make the world a better place. I mean, sure, we, we, we may have a negative art form, but it's all to kind of, it's like tough love. We're trying to push the world in the right direction. Are these some of the most provocative cartoons that you've seen, the ones that uh, Shirley Hebdo pinned? Yeah, they're among the, among the, uh, the uh, more, most cheekiest I've, I've seen. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, like I said, everyone's got different tastes, and, and they may be ones that, you know, I don't like, but, you know, I think that's okay if they publish them. So uh, it's a different form of art is what you're saying. Would you compare this to classical music versus some rap music versus? Yes. I mean, it's a pretty unique form because it both has journalism in it. It has commentary, satire, and it's got art. I mean, we're like decathlon athletes pulling all these, these skill sets together. All right. Kevin Callagher, thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate it. We're a big fan of your art. Thank you. Thank you.